off a disclaimer. I am not a carpenter. I'm not a professional carpenter. I don't do this for a living. Uh, what I know about this, I learned from my brother-in-law 40 years ago, working with him, and he's the uh, finest cabinet maker and carpenter I ever met. But uh, he took us in, put us all to work learning how to build things. Then I went in the Navy, and that was the last time I built stuff. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Maybe uh, it'll give you some ideas or... You know, I probably have the wrong terminology, but this is how I'm doing it. All of my floor joists, uh, I'm going to put 16 inches on center. What that means is my 4 bay sheet of plywood is going to start flush right here and at uh, 4 feet there's going to be a joist and it's going to land right in the middle of it so I can nail uh, my plywood on here and butt another sheet up to it and nail it and four feet later there's going to be another joist that'll it'll land right in the middle you do the whole thing every 16 inches starting from the edge where you're going to start laying sheets down there will be one at 96 inches if you wanted to turn the sheet lengthwise. So it's always going to be four or eight feet. You're going to have the middle of a joist if you do them every 16 inches on center. And what that means is you want the center of the joist, you want that to be 16 inches to the center of that joist. So tape measures are laid out. You can see 16 it's showing you where the center joist should be. 32, 48. So what you're going to do, this joist, this is a 2 by 8 It's actually an inch and a half wide. So you're going to make a mark, 3 quarters of an inch, on each side. Okay, get the tape where you need it. Forget that mark. Uh, 3 quarters of an inch on each side of the 16. That is an inch and a half there with 16 in the middle. Then you come down to your 32, do the same thing. Put your marks at three quarters on each side. 48. Sixty-four. And so forth. Yep. 80 and right here is my 96 inches is at the edge of this board this joist I did these I've got double joists every 8 feet so how now I know how come because I have a trailer that's 8 feet long I can't carry any boards longer than 8 feet uh and I can butt these together and it's just going to add stability to this. A 2 by 8 floor joist will span uh, 10 feet 1 inch according to uh, engineers. You can use that for up to 10 feet 1 inch. What I'm spanning because of my uh, the way I did these beams and put the 2 by 10 sill plates on them or sill plates I'm spanning about 86, 88 inches is all I have to span. So these two by four uh, eights are going to be more than sufficient. If I was doing 24 inches on center, then a two by eight, 24 inches on center will only span, uh, I think it's 92 inches. So you would have to go to two by tens if you wanted to go uh, 24 inches on center and only use uh, two joists per sheet of plywood. So I'm going to finish marking out all of my uh, joists down through here and we're going to start shooting in. Uh, I'm going to have it 16 inches on center on this end. It's going to match that in. You can lay these boards down. You'll see when I do the walls, my bottom plate 
is going to be 16 inches on center. All my studs are going to be 16 inches on center as well. And what I'll do is lay my bottom plate and my top plate, mark them together, and then build a wall. So I'm not having to mark. I might have to go along marking each individual one. But it's wise. Where's my speed square? I uh, put it in your uh, in the work ba bag in the back of the truck to help get a speed square and just go along your lines and drag it across. But for this to remain square, now we did this frame of the floor joist uh, and got it square. So I know my I'm 32 feet long so I could put four eight foot sheets of plywood on here and it would fit perfectly. I don't have to do any cutting. But in order for all my nailers, my joists to be in place, it's real important that you do these on center. And by drawing those lines across it, if you look over here, you can see how much easier it is to get that where it needs to be and just shoot it in from the side. That is that is 16 inches on center. That's why people do it. So when I do my plywood decking, I'm going to run a sheet 8 feet this way. Then I'm going to run a sheet 8 feet that way. So I'm going to have to make sure I have my joist, everything in the right place. Because I don't want to run four rows of eight footers. Uh, I'll flop them around, get more stability that way. And uh, you'll see when I start putting the deck down that uh, this comes in really, really handy. You just have to make sure you do it right. You can't, you can't mess up on this part because by the time I get, you know, 12, 13, 14 joists into this, if I'm out, of my center then I'm going to be cutting boards to make nailers to finish putting my uh, plywood decking down and that's just spending more money that doesn't have to be spent you do this step right and you make sure these are true all the way across you lay them down and that's all the work you have to do so I'm gonna turn it off for now finish marking out my middle row and we're going to shoot these in. Alright, I've laid out all of my joists. I only had enough to do ten of, two of these sections. But, XP, I can afford more material. 